Chicago, known among other things for its food, sports teams, weather, and recently, its cows. Or at least it was. In the summer of 1999, Chicago was in the grips of cow mania, as cows on parade took the city by storm. With hundreds of decorated cows lining the city's busiest streets for three months, it generated an extra million tourist visits and hundreds of millions of dollars. But for one individual, it was the beginning of a revolution that never occurred and the end of a dream. This is his story. One day, when I was a calf, the farmer took my mom away. She promised she'd be back. So I fell asleep in her bed that night. And the next night. And I kept doing that. Until one day the farmer was eating a hamburger, and as he took a bite, he cracked his tooth. Then he reached into his mouth, and he pulled out a gold heart locket. The one I gave my mom for her birthday. I realized the truth in that moment, and I swore on her soul that I'd do something. In 1999, Calrell chose Chicago as the grounds for what he termed the Great Chicago Stampede, after hearing about the plans for Cows on Parade. The name Cows on Parade is a euphemism that humans used so they wouldn't feel guilty about adding insult to genocide. Humans had already figured out how to strip down every part of a cow, but it wasn't until Cows on Parade that humans finally found a way to strip our dignity. It was cows on display. So I wanted to create a walkout from humanity. I wanted to follow in the footsteps of our civil rights hero, Daisy, known to the world as Miss O'Leary's cow. She was really the first one to stand up for a bovine's rights. I mean, she tried to burn the whole city down. His message was falling on deaf ears. Get out of here, you I won't get paid for this? Stampede, that sounds like exercise. If there's beer and freshmen, I'm in! But the Great Stampede never happened. So Calrell returned home, and it was here that he plunged into a personal darkness. It's been six years since the high hopes and promise of 1999. The lessons learned since then have led to wisdom. What I learned is that there's more than one chance in life to do something you really believe in. At the time, I felt like it was the end of the world. But today, I got a job, nice clothes, and money. See, I learned that's what keeps man in power. So if you want to beat man, you got to beat the man. The man with all the money. It's not over. In fact, it's only just begun. So on the streets of Chicago, on this cold December day, this cow serves as a reminder of Cowrell's favorite quote, said by Daisy, the O'Leary cow. It's not whether you get cow tipped, it's whether you get back up. <laughs> Ha 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 